Databases are great research tools, but they do not work like Google or other search engines. That can be frustrating. So before you start using the databases, you'll want to understand how to search them effectively to find good research sources. When you search Google, you can type your search in almost any way you want. Google will choose what it thinks are the most important words and search with those. Google also looks for what it thinks are related words. In this example, we searched with the word kids, but Google found results with the word children. We used bad, and Google came up with negative. But Google doesn't do such a good job at coming up with quality sources. In this list, the first result is an English essay written by a freshman college student. The second result isn't relevant. And the third result is a general article written by a professional writer, not an authority on the topic, like a child psychologist. Databases don't work like Google. When you put the same Google search into a database, you probably will not get any results. That's because databases are looking for sources with all of these words in that order. They work by matching, looking for articles with your search terms. So in order to get results, we need to search differently. Use keywords instead. Keywords are the most important ideas or concepts about your topic. To brainstorm keywords, start with the most important words in your topic. Then think of synonyms, related ideas, and categories or examples. Your keywords should be descriptive and specific to your topic. When you're ready to search a database, use the keywords you want to find in your search results. Type the word and between keywords to find sources with all of your search terms. The more terms you connect with and, the fewer results you'll get. Type the word or between keywords to find sources with either one of your search terms. You will get more results when you connect keywords with or. Type the word not between keywords to find results with one keyword, but not the other. We don't use this one too often but it can be handy if you want to weed out results commonly associated with your topic but aren't your focus, or if your keyword has two meanings and you want to exclude one. If you remember to search the databases with well-chosen keywords connected with and, or, or not, you're on your way to finding great research sources. Need more help? Contact the Sanjak Librarian.